What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Cedar Ridge Chronicles. My name is Daniel. Today, I'm gonna to give y'all just two little bitty tips to make y'all's taxidermy life just a little bit easier. Maybe something you've already figured out, maybe not. But, let's get started. Okay, number one, when you get your holes drilled, to mount your antlers, I would suggest angling your holes. You can see how I've got these screws positioned. If you'll angle the back this way and the front this way, what that allows you to do when you go to put your rack on your form, when you go to screw these back screws in, if you'll do that first, it will drive that rack into the front of that foam on the head and hold it in place when you put your other two screws in. What that will do is keep that rack from twisting back and forth and getting out of whack when you're trying to get it level and trying to get it you know, where you need it to be. If you'll go and look at my, my other video on how I trim my skull plates, that is the number one suggestion because that's gonna keep everything square uh, on the deer's head. But if you'll angle those back two screws especially and put them in first, it'll just, when you go to screw them in, it'll drive that right into the foam on the back of that head and keep all that in place. Makes it a whole lot easier when you go to mount those up. Now I've mounted my rack up onto my form and y'all can see where I put these in at an angle. Not only does it help drive this up into this flush where it sits nice and, and straight, but also the heads of the screws will also sit flush with the skull cap. When you do them at that angle like that, both these two and these two will sit at that angle and just be right up against that bone. It gives you a much smoother transition. When you put your clay or Bondo over the top of that, it'll cover that up even better. And for my second trick, I'm going to show y'all how to trim the back of these legs to where that skin will lay flat and you don't have this big ball of skin you got to do something with when you go to staple it. Where the top of that leg is, the shoulder right there, if you'll take your scalpel and just make a cut, that will split the skin just like that. Now what you want to do is we're going to remove these two triangles that we just created. So we'll take our scalpel, cut that off. and cut that off. Now what that's going to do is it's going to remove that excess skin. And when you put this back together, it lays right down there flat and smooth, just like that. You can take your staples, staple it on up, and you're good to go. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See y'all next time.